In this video, I'll show you how to use a wood chisel properly. A wood chisel is essential for shaping, carving and smoothing wood surfaces. It consists of a sharp metal blade with a handle, allowing you to remove the material with precision and control. One challenge many beginners face is achieving a clean and precise cut without damaging the surrounding wood. Another issue is maintaining a sharp edge on the chisel which greatly affects the quality of your work. Here's how to properly use a wood chisel. Prepare your work surface and secure the wood piece you'll be working on, ensuring it's firmly clamped or held in place to prevent movement while you're working. Hold the chisel firmly, gripping the handle with your dominant hand. Keep your other hand behind the blade to guide and control the chisel's movement. Position the chisel's beveled edge against the wood, aligning it with the desired cutting line. It's crucial to start with light pressure to ensure you have control over the chisel's movement. Using a mallet or hammer, gently tap the chisel's hand to start the cut. Remember to apply consistent pressure to maintain control and avoid striking the chisel too forcefully as it can damage the wood or cause the chisel to slip. Gradually deepen the cut by increasing the pressure with each tap. Take your time and make multiple shallow cuts rather than trying to remove too much material at once. This approach reduces the risk of splintering and allows for more precise control. Keep your chisel sharp for optimal performance. Regularly sharpen the blade using a sharpening stone or honing guide. A sharp chisel provides cleaner cuts and reduces the force required to make each cut. Pairing is one of the primary techniques used with chisels, particularly for cleaning up rough surfaces or joints. It involves a horizontal slicing motion that requires careful control and finesse. Ensure a chisel has a flat back and a sharp cutting edge. This is crucial for clean and precise pairing. Grasp the chisel handle with your dominant hand. Use your other hand to support and control the blade, providing a level surface to guide the chisel along the workpiece. When pairing, focus on removing small shavings rather than large chunks of wood. This approach promotes greater control and precision. Remember to apply gentle and consistent pressure. Take your time, make gradual progress, and ensure the chisel remains parallel to the workpiece. It's common for beginners to unintentionally remove more wood from the back of the cut than the front. Regularly check your work and ensure that the surface remains even. Vertical pairing is similar to horizontal pairing, but involves working in the vertical plane. This technique is often employed when squaring round ends or creating straight edges in joints. Use the chisel with a large surface area to create guidelines for your work. Place the chisel on the inside wall of the mortise and tip it up, allowing the line to transfer to the top of the wood. Repeat this process on the back wall to establish a straight edge. Vertical pairing requires accuracy and attention to detail. Apply controlled hand pressure to create the desired lines without needing a mallet. This technique ensures a clear path for subsequent chiseling. In cases where a significant amount of wood needs to be removed, such as with a mortise, use a mallet. Ensure the beveled side of the chisel faces the waste material while the back side faces the wood that needs to be preserved. Begin by tapping firmly on the chisel to initiate the cut. Fewer taps are recommended to minimize movement between blows. Work on the ends and then move to the sides following the established guidelines. Use controlled force and accuracy to achieve the desired results. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe for more such woodworking tips and tutorials. Thank you for watching. See you next time.